Friday. I'm Mayra Chavana, and this is James Arismendi. And together we are Backstage Live. James, you said that like you were. I don't know. Have you had coffee yet, or what is it? What is that? What is that? What is that? It, uh, my my Leticia made me some beet juice. You know what? I think Leticia might be your your exotic fruit dealer because you always come with with fruits fruit. here that I've never even heard of. But apparently they taste wonderful. How does it taste like? Like dirt? Yeah, like I said, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, has anybody out there drank beet juice? This is 100% beet juice. Beet, ¿qué era? Betabel. 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 Yes. Jugo de betabel. Yes. That, yes. that okay. I'll, I'll, I'll probably taste it later or not because I see another one back here. And the, this oh. one, Leticia bought us that one too, right? The Leticia bought us this one. This is 100% carrot juice. I was hoping you were going to say mango or something. No, no. Carrot juice, this is what's for breakfast. I don't eat tacos in the morning, baby. I don't. You don't, right? No. no except this morning, I had one. But I didn't <laughs> See, post it. See, now he's lying. I didn't post, it on, lying. I didn't post it on Facebook because I, I don't want everybody to say, James eats tacos. No, because then Leticia was going to be like, ah, no. I'm, I'm making you this delicious, healthy breakfast, and you're cheating on my breakfast. That's for right. For tacos, we can't have her thinking that. No. It didn't happen, Leticia. And Maz, make sure Leticia doesn't see this show because no. she's going to get mad because we're having tacos. That looks like all positive. Hi, <sighs> <laughs> James. <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> Your team. Is it red? Yeah, it is. Hey, is guess it? what? Good. What? Is, what is, 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 is viernes? Es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. sabe. Woo dale, dale, dale. Dale, 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 dale. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. I'm kidding. Got that? There's no piñata there. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. I'm still, you know what? I'm still like hyped up from the it's weekend. It's good morning. Good morning, it's right? It's good morning, yes, but I'm still hyped up from last weekend when we went to go see Raymond, Raymond Horta. Horta. He was funny. He was hilarious. Raymond, you are the bomb. You're the bomb. You're the boss. You're the best. Yes. Like, I swear. What, did, what else did amazing. you do? What else did you do this weekend? A lot of abs from the laughing. From the laughing? Yeah, from the laughing. Yeah. I, um, it really didn't, uh, I didn't have any accidents, any fluids, nothing came no. out. No, no, no. no. I, went I hope everything came out. Well, afterwards oh, at the okay. house. Okay. But uh, yeah, I didn't make a scene or nothing there at the show. But it, it really was wonderful. You should know because you were right there with me. That's right. So it was, it right. was so funny. Yeah, he's <laughs> crazy. But anyways. Yeah. Uh, Aren't you going to ask me what I did this weekend? Yes. Oh, well, because okay. I know, because we were together, Jay. That's right. Well, that was one day. What did you do the next we day? Did, I did, I, the very first time, we did a 9-11 memorial uh, ride in Brownsville oh. for the fire department. For all the people that passed yes. away uh, at 9-1-1, we rode 32 miles on the bicycle. I followed you. I followed your yeah. post. And that that's very, very inspiring. Yes. That's for our, everybody that yes. you know that, that ended their life, we're, we were there to, to yes. make sure that honoring that them. And actually, the, them. this whole week we've been we've been doing that, That's you know, right. going to places and just honoring the fallen and their families because it's just as as painful. That's you right. Know, how survivors, That's but I burned fifteen hundred calories doing it. Really? Yes. So I you didn't need to invite me next time. I didn't even know I could do that. Well, now you know, and now you need to invite me because I need to. What? I need to lose a little bit of weight. But you need to stop drinking all that water you drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. That's hey, right. don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. And we have a great surprise for you after the break. You're going to love it. You're I swear. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Miserable. The world's most popular musical is now on tour, direct from Broadway. This breathtaking production has left both audiences and critics awestruck. Experience the musical phenomenon. Les Miserables. Coming to McAllen September 12th through the 16th. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Backstage Live. It is an amazing Friday today, James. I know you're excited just like I am because we are very humbled and honored to have here on set with us Mr. Nick Cartel from Les Miserables. He's the Hi, lead actor. Everybody. Woo! Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for having of me. Of course. Awesome. Yes, Nick. thank you so much. Awesome. I'm so glad I'm to so be nervous. Here. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. I was I was trying to you know say Les Miserables, Les Miserables, Los Miserables. There's a whole there's many ways to say it, but it comes down to Les Miserables and the best show. It this is a show of shows. It's a musical phenomenon that you cannot miss. Nick, tell us all about it. it. You can't miss it, it at it, all. It is. I mean, it has. It is a show that has been running for 33 years. Wow. That's a long three, three. time. That's wow. a long time that the show has been running. And it is a show that is um, steeped in, in history, but it's also a show about forgiveness and, you know, a fight of the human spirit and, and wow. making the world a better place. And I think that that's why audiences connect with it and they come into the theater, they see this great show, but there's also all this amazing music that um, the audiences just love. And so I think that that's one of the real reasons that people continue to come back time and time again. Exactly, so you're watching this, you know, musical, this theater, and then at the same time, you're enjoying music and you can relate to it because even though it's, you know, you, there's 33 years of this awesome, mm -hmm. you know, show going on, but life is the same. We all do start with those internal struggles and then little by little, we want to reach the stars and be awesome, just like your character in the show, Nick. Correct, so so the, the, the story of Les Mis is my character, Jean Valjean, he gets out of prison after 19 years for stealing a loaf of bread to help save his um, his sister's son. And he gets put in prison and he, you know, he tries to escape a couple times, so he gets some time added onto his sentence. <laughs> um, but when he gets out, he, he realizes that the world is treating him completely differently than he ever thought that they would. He's, he's an outcast of society. And uh, he, you know, trying to figure out what to do and how to, how to live, ends up actually stealing silver from a bishop. And the bishop comes in and he forgives him. And he says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you this. You have to use the silver to become a better man. And that's what immediately puts Valjean on the path to do good. It, it is the moment that his life changes and he wants to make the world and, and do right by the people around him. And so that is where our story picks up. And But you watch the struggle from the beginning when he gets out of prison all the way through his lifetime. So you get to follow this character of Valjean for pretty much a lifetime. Um, and, and through it, you meet all of these other people that he comes in contact with. And, and so I think that that is, is just so endearing to an audience yeah. and, and what audiences can connect with. Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. Nick, so what, how do you enjoy your, your, your role? How do you, what do you, you know, oh, how do you I, put yourself I, in that role? You know, it's, it's one of those things that this role to me is so satisfying. It, it, you know, I have to pretty much run the gamut of emotions from anger and pain and hurt to love and sacrifice and, and you know, um, there's a lot of sacrifice that also comes with just having to do this this job, you know, being away from loved ones, being away from family. For but a whole year. For, for a whole year, yeah. you know what I mean? But I think that there are, the other part of that is, is we have a cast that becomes a family. They are your family out here on the road. We celebrate holidays together. We celebrate the highs and the lows all together. And so to have that camaraderie, not only in the show, but in our real lives, helps yeah. helps to make it easier out here on the road. 
Um, How many is there? There, the so there are 35 people in the cast. Oh. There are 28 people on stage every night. It's a very big ensemble for a show. Wow. Um, and that is that everybody works so hard. We travel with a company of 80 people. So we travel with our orchestra, with some of our crew members. Wow. It, it is a big production. It takes 11 semis to get this show across the country. Wow. So it takes a day and a half to set this whole show up. So when the audiences walk into that, when you come in to see our show, you are going to just be blown away by the set, by the way that everything moves, by the sound, by the songs, by the singing. I mean, everybody across the country has loved it so far. And we know that the audiences here in McAllen are going to love it as well. That yeah. is wonderful. Have you ever been to McAllen? I have not been no. to McAllen, so it's no. so great to be here. It's very humid. Very it humid. is very humid here. Yes, um, we, we know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's that's actually really great for us. That's really great for our voices. That's really great for you know for the for singing. Our wig, our Jen, who's in charge of our hair and wigs, is is you know she's a little stressed, but she's you know made sure triple, to have plenty of extra hairspray, hairspray. Uh, to make sure that those wigs are looking great. Oh my God, this I, I get all, I'm I'm excited just hearing Nick talk just about the show, how, how amazing the production just. Even, just even if no sound, no sound, if you heard no sound, just imagine the, the scenery, yeah. the production, amazing. Now you get to see the production and listen to it and enjoy it and relate to it because most of us have felt like that, you know, at some time in our life, we feel like an outcast and there's, yeah. there's always, we're, we're praying for that one person yeah. to give us that, you know, helping hand and exactly. that lifts up, lifts our spirits and we become a better person. That's true. That is fantastic. We get to sit there and we get to enjoy all of it. And so actually there are still tickets available there for are. today. Today, Friday, we have tickets available. Is it at 7.30? It's at 8 o'clock tonight. 8 so for this weekend, you can we have a show Friday night. We have two shows on Saturday, so at 2 o'clock and at 8 o'clock. And on Sunday, we have a 2 o'clock and a 7.30. So it's a little earlier for those people that got to get up and go to work the next morning. But, which, which is perfect. <laughs> which is great. But for the people that are out there and wondering, they're like, well, there's a time for everyone. So if you can't make it Friday, you can make it Saturday. If you can't make it Saturday, you can make it Sunday. Exactly. So, right? And you can get tickets at the box office. This, and that way you save those fees. The I know fees, you like to tell people, people that. <laughs> I know you like to tell yes. people that. Um, but that way you can save the fees. You can also find tickets online. But definitely come and check us yes, out. Yes, definitely. And hey, we're going to take a break. But I don't want anybody to get up and go anywhere because we're going to tell you how to get those tickets. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> driving me crazy. What's the problem? The service fees are way too high. You need to call Ticket Zone. There are no service fees and they don't charge for shipping. But the best part is they guarantee to beat any price on the internet for sporting events and concerts around the country. Plus, they give you personal service you can't get on the internet. Thank you so much. You made it so easy. Call Ticket Zone now and get the best seat in the house today. from Broadway. This breathtaking production has left both audiences and critics awestruck. Experience the musical phenomenon. Les Miserables. Coming to McAllen September 12th through the 16th. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com.
Next time you're looking for tickets online, find them. Then call Ticket Zone RGV at 631-1411 and we'll beat their price. Ticket Zone, shows, concerts, and sporting events. Ticket Zone RGV, 631-1411. Hey everyone, welcome back to Backstage Live. Thank you so much for staying with us. I know you're excited. Everybody wants to go see this awesome musical that you just cannot, cannot miss. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? We have the weekend planned for you, but I wanna keep talking to Nick. So we all see Nick, he's beautiful, he's <laughs> wonderful. But who is Nick? Where is he from? How is he now the lead actor for Les Miserables. Tell us, Nick. Tell us oh, your story. Um, I, well, I, I grew up in Arizona. Um, I grew up in Arizona, and uh, I uh, have, when I grew up singing in, in church choirs and in the Phoenix Boys Choir and stuff like that, and so that's where I really learned how to sing. And then um, I, when I was in elementary school, I went and saw a production on a field trip of Cinderella, and I was watching the actors singing and dancing up there, and I was like, can sing and, and I want to perform and that's what I want to do perfect. and wow. that's kind of just where it kicked that's off crazy. from then on out I was um, doing community theater I went to college at Arizona State University I got my degree in theater um, oh. and then I actually went over and I worked in Japan for three years for Disney um, so I got to work with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse <gasps> and, and all the characters uh, as a performer over in the parks before I, I made the move to New York so oh. and I've now been in New York uh, 13 years and uh, I have my wife and I live in New York, live in the city, and wow. uh, you know I'm very, very lucky to be able to do this. Um, I uh, I've done three Broadway shows. Uh, Which I one? did. Which I, I so I did uh, the revival of Jesus Christ Superstar oh, on wow. Broadway, um, and then I did a production that was written by Kathy Lee Gifford, who uh, is one of the co-hosts of the Today Show. Um, I did a show called Scandalous, and then there's a Cirque du Soleil musical called Paramore. So I was in that, and then uh, I also toured the country for two and a half years with the Phantom of the Opera oh. before I was on this production. So uh, now I'm now I'm. This on is this. the best one. What do you I, think? I, I I love this one. Yeah. I mean, and to get to play Jean Valjean is a dream come mm -hmm. true. Um, so for me, th this is you know the pinnacle. People are like, well, what's next? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm very happy yeah, I'm right good. now. I'm Let me good enjoy right it. Now. Let yeah, me exactly. enjoy it. Let me enjoy it. Um, yeah, but I mean, this is this is what I've always wanted to do. It's always been my dream, and, mm -hmm. and I'm very, very lucky and very fortunate and very honored to get awesome. to play this role and, and to do this every single sure. night. For the kids out there that are watching, Nick, you when you were a little boy, when they're out there, and I have a lot of friends that have kids that are that sing yeah. and, in drama class, what do you, what do you, what do you, what would you tell them? I would tell them to, to stick with it, um, but to also um, make yourself as marketable as possible, if that makes sense. Yes. So for, for people that are that are in the entertainment industry, especially in musical theater, we have to know how to sing, act, and dance. That's incredible. And so if you are a great singer, but maybe not so great a dancer, get into dance class. There are classes out there Aww. that you can do. You can take acting classes. You can take voice lessons. It just helps for when you do get to a point where then like you're like, I'm gonna go to New York or I'm gonna audition for a musical, it just will just make you better and it'll make you more calm. But also, be confident in yourself. Who you are is exactly who you need to be. There's a role out there for you. So. Aww. Wow. And, yeah. and he got the cream of the crop, what you've always dreamed as a little boy, yeah. Nick, and wow. now you're living it. This is so amazing. And so you, everybody's listening, right? Like he's living his dream. Now imagine he's going to live his dream on stage. In, in McAllen. Ma in McAllen, right yeah. in our yeah. backyard. Imagine all the emotion, all the passion Nick is going to be transmitting through his character. How amazing. And you play all the emotions. I do. You and, play and every here's single. The thing is that like I really do connect with this character a lot. Um, because you know this character goes through a lot of sacrifice and, and I personally, especially for this role, had to go through sacrifice when I was I had five auditions for this role wow. over the course of a few months. And, um, Did you realize after a while you said I nailed it or no? Please. You know, I never went in with that. I never went in with that. Like, I just went in being like, I'm going to do the best job that I can do. And as long as I know that I leave the room doing everything that I could have done, then that's the goal. And I felt that way the entire time. Oh. And it ended up that um, the day before my final callback, my mom passed away. Oh. 
to uh, she had been battling ovarian cancer, and so I had to walk into that audition room the final time. And she was an angel on my shoulder. She was and, there. And completely was with me in that room. She made it happen. And it truly, I think, is, is one of the reasons that I that I booked this show. You um, had one of the biggest Yeah, tests. you know what I mean? And, and so I use that and use those emotions every single night in this story. That That's powerful and inspiring because, okay. you know, most most people would go, you know, crazy. You know, yeah. that happened. But and, you, and you, know, you and have to it, use it in a but positive But it was also, it was, it was something that, you know, my mom had been battling for a while. My dad called and said, look, I don't know if it will be much longer, but I said, all right, I'm going to come home. And they said, no, this is your dream. We love you. We support you. You need to do this. And so knowing that I have that support right. from my parents yeah. the, the entire wow. time, I know that I'm making her proud every night. Yes. And she's got the best seat in the house. That's they, what I always I say every single that. night. This, she's this, your angel. This yes, is that is very for true. Your yes. mother. This exactly. is for your mother. Wow. So, this so please come and check us yes. out. Please come and see our show. Yes, you're gonna Nick. love it. You're gonna feel all that passion, all that love, all that forgiveness. And um, you know what I always say is that you leave the theater feeling inspired. And right now, in a world that there's so much change and people fighting to make the world a better place, to feel that on stage, to know that there are people that are out there that are sharing that story, continuing to share that story across the country. And, and here in McAllen, Texas, you're just going to leave feeling better and better. In McAllen, in one of the best spots, because you don't only get to enjoy this magical musical, but you can go have dinner afterwards. <laughs> it's amazing, and there's a lot of options. Nick, tell us again the times. We have one today, Friday, yes. tomorrow, Sunday. Tell so us we where we can go Friday, see So we have Friday, we have tonight at 8 o'clock, Saturday at 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock, Sunday at 2 o'clock and 7.30, can get your tickets at the box office. So just walk up, tell them that you want to see Les Mis, tell them that you want the best seats in the house, and they will definitely, uh, definitely do a good job for you. That is perfect. Well, Nick, thank you so much for being thank with you. us thank today. You so it was much, such so much an honor. We really enjoyed it, and I loved James, it. I'm, it's I was, it's I'm date it. night. It's date night. You have to. You have to. You have to go out there. There's nothing to do in the valley. Well, guess what? No, this is it. We're going. We're going. And where are we going? PF Chang's? Yeah, PF Chang's. Probably. Yeah, yeah. PF Chang's. Somewhere. We'll go yeah. somewhere. Guys, thank you. We'll see you there. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome to the end of the show. It was so magical, James, having Nick here. He is such an inspiring individual. My heart was coming out of my chest. I was so inspired. Me too, and he's, he's so courageous. He's so... I loved it. Yes, absolutely. Now imagine I got, trying to winning that. My eyes got teary. They did? Yes. They did. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. During yeah. the break, you kind of got emotional there I for did. a moment. I did. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but, but go see the show yeah. this weekend. Friday, tonight, Saturday, Sunday. If you want to take your girl out, take her out. You need to take her out. The couch is, you need to get her off the couch, yeah. take her to dinner, go to a show, the Count Performing Arts, Les Mis. What else do you want? No excuses. It's perfect. It's perfect. And Women want romance. And who doesn't like, who doesn't love theater, musical? I mean, this is a show of shows. 33 years? Like, you're going to see experts out there. I mean, this show is completely fantastic. You awesome. absolutely can't, you cannot miss it. Everybody has to go out there and miss it. So we'll buy your it. tickets at the box office. I mean, it'll save you. All the fees. fees. Yes, we all want to do that. So now we know what we're doing on the weekend. This weekend. We That's always right. know what we're doing. So, and then, you know, it, it's so central. You, you really have many places to choose. I'm having dinner. dinner. Dinner before or after the show? Or before and after. How amazing would that be? <laughs> Cocktails and dinner. There you go. And a show. It's perfect. So, yes, definitely go go watch them. What else do we have going on here? We have the Cowboys and the Texans. Anybody out there looking for tickets? I'll be any price online. Call me. On the same seats, I'll give you a better price. And that is guaranteed, right? 100%. 100%. Well, Nothing in this planet is guaranteed, <laughs> right? Nothing on this planet is guaranteed, right? No, no, yeah, I guess not, I guess not. But, but for sure, we know that James Ticket Zone has the best prices out there. Yep, and, and RGB Ticket Zone. Right? RGB Ticket Zone.net, definitely visit the website and give us your number, James, so we can 631 -1411 or find me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. James Addy's menu. James Addy's menu on yeah. Facebook and Instagram? Instagram, rgbticketzone.net. No, no, without the dot. Just look for James Addy's menu, and you will see just that's how he appears on social media. Yeah. And then rgbticketzone.net. You go find all the best prices or come see us. Come see that's us right. here. Come see us, and we promise we beat any price out there. Yeah. Yes, anything else? That's it. We're leaving. That's it. We gotta go. Everybody we have a go. great weekend. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.